Hi, this is Shady and this situation sucks for all of us. Most of us, I'm sure, cannot go to training anymore and it really is a bad thing. I mean, without training, a lot of us would not feel as good. A lot of us, the quality of life would just go down. So I'm proposing a few things you can do while you're at home or, you know, in your backyard or wherever you happen to live um the limited training that we will have is very bad however um this cannot stop us from training altogether and the first thing that i want to propose for judo practitioners is the uchikomi band training you see here in front of you um it is very important it keeps you know your muscle memory for whatever techniques you happen to do or whatever your specialty may be uh, and also it keeps your cardio going because believe it or not Uchikomi bands uh, drills are very very strong and they need a lot of endurance so it's gonna be a combination of you know muscle memory uh, judo training and also very good uh, cardio so this is the first thing that I would suggest that you do uh, the second thing and that applies to both judo and bjj practitioners is solo uh neiwaza drills or solo ground drills i believe there's a lot uh, of uh, drills available on youtube from night jiu-jitsu and other similar channels uh, you can go and just watch and replicate kind of like putting on a yoga video and just going along with the professor uh, solo drills same uh, with judo they they require endurance they require uh, flexibility and also you know you train the muscle memory in order to keep uh, the movement fresh and uh, fluent so you so when the time comes back uh, that we go back on the mats you won't be as rusty so these drills solo drills are very crucial even if you know there wasn't uh, such a disaster um it's uh, important to do solo drills and that's why you know your professor should insist on them before training uh, anything techniques based with your partner so and the other thing that i want to propose is also very easy on the joints but it's also very beneficial and that is body weight training uh, specifically the basics like bulgarian split squats on you know you put one leg on your bed behind you and the other you squat down with um, you know you do some lunges uh, push-ups one arm push-ups if you have a pull-up bar that's perfect you can do chin-ups pull-ups and other variations um, that will also keep uh, your muscles uh, working since the gyms are not accessible at this point as well uh, you know try to make the best of the situation you know I hope this is temporary and not gonna last very long uh, I hope that you know we're all back in the gym and on the mats very soon but in the meantime uh, if you don't train it's gonna be very uh, bad for several reasons you know first you have your endurance and your muscles etc but also uh, it kills your drive to take such long time away from you know training because uh, once you go back in it's gonna be very hard and difficult to go back in and your drive is basically your, or your momentum is just zero so that's why you need to keep on you know drilling things by yourself uh, and also training your cardio another thing you can do for training your cardio is uh, if you happen to live in the suburbs or somewhere quote-unquote quiet I suggest you go for long hikes, uh, jogs, you know, mild jogs. Don't just go out and run. Don't don't make yourself catabolic. Uh, just go out for a light jog, a, a long hike. If there's woods, go in there, uh, breathe, you know, fresh air. They pump out oxygen, you know, and, and it's also good for your mind in these uh, situations because everything else seems to be affected, not just the training. Uh, and it also works on your endurance and if you happen to meet people there uh, stay away uh, 
you know, don't make too much contact, etc. Be by yourself, for kind of like a sort of a meditation, and also just increase your endurance and also uh, keeping your health intact. And the final thing that you can do is, it's actually a very invisible aspect of it all, and that is your nutrition. Keep your nutrition as clean as possible. Lean down. You you don't need to consume as much calories as before. Uh, if you're home, I know we get bored. We tend to eat a lot. Maybe have a few beers if we have a friend or two. Uh, keep your nutrition healthy. Your calories not that high and not that low. Lean down and just consume you know nutritious uh, quality foods and don't forget your supplementation from vitamin C, zinc, and vitamin D, and omega-3s, all that stuff that can help with your immune system to boost it and also help you feel well and energized uh, in order to perform these drills and body weight training and jogs all together. I hope you found it uh, uh, useful. Let me know what you think. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.